James Allen and uh, Louise Goodman reporting. Well, the RAC British Grand Prix is round nine of the Formula One World Championship. It's effectively half term. Headmaster Martin Brundle has been sorting out the high achievers and the dunces. At midpoint in the season, here's how the drivers have fared so far. Jack the Lad's season has been inconsistent. For a driver with his obvious talent and the potential of his Williams, he's underachieving. Out on the first corner in Melbourne, out on lap two of his home Grand Prix, it's been wins or spins. He's upset a lot of people. Tidy up your act, Jack. A minus must try harder. Despite being under a lot of pressure by replacing the reigning world champion, Heinz Harold has on occasions come up with the goods. But he has the ability to disappear without trace. He still needs to convince his boss, and more importantly himself, that he has got what it takes. B plus improved throughout the term. Michael is deservedly top of the class. In Monaco and in France, he showed that he is still a cut above the rest. What's more, it's a natural talent that is putting him there. Because we know there is more to come from the prancing horse, and the combination of strategy, hard work, and a great car could be unstoppable. Have a gold star, Michael. A+. Plus. Eddie Irvine had a terrible start to the term. In Australia and Brazil, his performance was somewhat erratic. But after clearing the air with his accusers, he has succeeded where others have failed. He's a good foil for his teammate Michael, which is no mean feat. Must pay more attention, B-. David's season couldn't have started better with a win in Melbourne. But since then, he has failed to shine. David has shown that on his day, he is capable of more victories. All he needs is a little more luck and application. B plus, a good term's work. The future looked bright for Mika with a podium finish at the kickoff. But his paymaster will expect more, and if he's not careful, he could be looking for alternative employment. C plus, a lackluster performance. Injury has curtailed one of this year's bright prospects. Real success was in Olivier Sites before Montreal. He will be back. His solitary victory in Monaco last year will not be his last. B+, plus, he threatened to go to the top of the class. Perhaps the time has come for Gerhard to hang up his boots. It may not be his decision. Countryman Alexander Wirtz may get up his nose and get into his drive full time. The death of his father this week is sad and particularly untimely. After his shambolic star, Jean Alessi shows signs of pulling it together when all around him is far from perfect. C plus shows willingness to improve. When you're young, talented and Italian, it's a given that enthusiasm will get the better of you. Giancarlo Fisichella has enthusiasm by the bucket load, but there may be questions over his staying power. B plus, great start to a new school. The ability to get on with your teammate is not vital, a little competition goes a long way, but Schumacher Jr. needs to learn a thing or two about common courtesy. You are not your brother, but with Williams and McLaren chasing you, you might yet be. Shows great promise, B-. A good show at every race so far this season until Manny Corr, Johnny is driving superbly. The car is better than expected. B+, plus shows willing and consistency, but must improve on his German. Recently outpaced by his paying teammate, Damon has to lift his game. When he hasn't fallen off, his car's failed. His class still shows through, though. C-minus, more homework required. 